All right, next up, let's use ChatGPT for something that can be particularly difficult even for advanced Google Sheets users, and that is applying formula-based conditional formatting. So let's say that we're using Google Sheets as a project or a task tracking tool, and we have a table like this one where we have the task for the department, the due date, the owner, and then a status column with checkboxes that we want to check whenever each task has been completed. But what I also want to happen is that whenever I mark a task as complete, then I would like for the entire row to be highlighted with a green background just so that I know that it's been finished. So let's see if we can use ChatGPT to create the conditional formatting rule for us. So let me uncheck this. Actually, let's pretend that this one and this one have been completed. So now let's go over to ChatGPT and let's paste in our prompt here. So I use Google Sheets as a task tracking tool and would like the entire row from A to E, which is what we have here, to be highlighted green whenever the checkbox in column E is checked. Can you help? Let's see what we get back here. All right, now that this is finished, let's see. We can achieve this by using conditional formatting, which is what we wanted. So now let's follow these steps. So open the Google Sheets document, we have that. Select the range of cells, so cells from A to E for the entire row. Let's do that. Then we want to go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and then in the panel, click on the drop down menu under Format Cells If and select Custom Formula Is from the options, and then enter the following formula. So let's copy that. And we want Format, Conditional Formatting. Format cells if, custom formula is, paste this in here, and it looks like we've already got the desired green background here. But if we look over here, it looks like it's actually highlighting the wrong row. So let me go back here and let's see. In this case, selects A to E for the entire row. So maybe we have to select the entire range and not just from A to. Let me actually modify this. Just do this instead, which is what we were prompted to do. All right, and now this is working properly. So let's hit done. And let's see if this works. Yep, so there we have it. Now let's say that we want to add a second conditional formatting rule that highlights a row in red if the due date has already passed. So let's prompt ChatGPT for that and say something like, I also want to highlight the entire row in red whenever the due date in column C has already passed. And let's see if ChatGPT can give us an answer just with this context. All right, so we're going to want to add an additional conditional formatting rule. Let's follow steps one to four which means open, select the range of cells, click Format, Conditional Formatting. All right, we want to add another rule. Custom formula is Format Cells If. Custom formula, let's copy this formula and let's see if this works. Let's go back, let's select these again. Let's add another rule, Custom formula. Let's paste this in here and now let's do a light red. Click done, and it looks like this is working. So today, just for context, is June 13th. So we do have this as a past due date. So it's correctly formatted as red. If we complete this task, it will now be in green. And let's say this is June 11th. That's going to be formatted red as well. So A plus for ChatGPT when it comes for applying formula based conditional formatting. Hey there, if you like this video and you want to learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. 
You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.